hello hello guys this is char welcome back to the channel thank you so much for returning now for those who did not see my i think it was 10 minute 15 minute live i went live on july 2nd for the first time i will be going live more often um they keep telling me it's good for the channel everybody goes live so you know i guess i will incorporate that um, but yeah, I went live just unexpectedly when I heard about Kiki, I got emotional, real tears fell, y'all, like, I got emotional, like, but anyway, RIP to her and her family, um, I think that lady, her name is Marcella, I couldn't think of it during my live, but I guess Marcella got, um, okay from Miss Wanda to, um, deliver the news, and she had a little, um, thing quote from the family words from the family and she did a prayer and all that so shout out to her for that um but anyway i don't want to make this video long this is about a little bit of everything what's going on sunny mail uh destiny um destiny <laughs> is all over the place y'all all over the place she's been doing her youtube rounds as far as interviews she already did one with carlos king a little bit a while ago recently did one with dr heavenly she's talked to dustin she's been getting around hopefully she's been getting paid <laughs> you know getting paid um and um her and sunny are just going back and forth back and forth back and forth sunny you know i'm not necessarily a fan of but um i don't know you know sunny didn't owe the woman any any um you know respect not too much as it relates to dating a man that destiny dated because I guess, like she keeps saying, they, they weren't really friends. However, they did do some things uh, outside of the show, birthday party or whatever she came. She sat next to Moses, yada, 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 yada. You know, she just, she kind of stabbed you in the back. She did you dirty. It's, that's just the plain and simple. But in all actuality, do she owe you anything? No, not really. Because y'all wasn't really that close. Y'all wasn't really friends. So, in other words, it's to be expected. It's kind of to be expected, in, in, in my opinion. But anyway, um, so Destiny is walking it back. She's walking it back. She's walking everything back because she was standing on business in terms of Sunny better keep her mouth closed. Sunny is this. Sunny is a side chick. Sunny dated the man when I was dating him. Moses did it to hurt me. Moses picked her because he wanted to hurt me. I think she has dropped some tears saying that part, you know, trying to get sympathy or whatever. Um, and now she's completely walking that back. The whole, that energy is reversed. She's doing a 360 with that energy. Um, she, because obviously Sunny knows. Sunny knows what really went down. Even if she don't know everything blow for blow, she knows some stuff. Um, cause obviously destiny confided in her and, ter and told her some stuff. So like I said, she may not know everything from blow for blow, but she knows some things and she knows she has a good, good idea of what happened between destiny and her ex-husband LeBaric and why he up jumped and divorced her. Okay. She knows about it. And we know that she knows because Destiny is walking it back. Destiny is now saying, she's now saying that, um, uh, uh, cause you know, she was, um, she said it even last week, uh, on the show, she can have Moses anytime she wants. She knows she can have Moses back. She told Letitia that, and, um, the workout lady girl that, whatever her name is, um, the one that always sounds scared. Um, she told her, she told them that she can have Moses anytime she wants. She knows that she can get him back or whatever. And she knows that he loves her or wants her or whatever she was talking about. Right now is a complete 360. Now she's saying that they are married. Let them do what they do. They over there married. Let them stay over there married. Once Sunny came out, I guess on her social media and, um, said that destiny is big scared now 
<laughs> and it does seem like she's big scared because she doesn't want Sunny to reveal whatever it is that she knows. Whatever it is that she's know that she knows, she don't want her to reveal it because now uh Destiny was just recently on a podcast and the woman asked her about uh Sunny and all of that. And just the whole beef that's going on between them two right now. And she did not say nothing about, uh, yes, uh, Moses wants her. And yes, she can have him anytime she wants or any of that stuff. She, when the woman asked her about that situation and about Moses and this and that, Destiny was like, they're married. (laughs) What can I do? He's a married man now. Let them be over there, be married over there. Let them stay over there married. What? Can you believe that? She completely did a 360. She do not want this big head woman to say nothing about whatever it is that she knows. And obviously she knows something. She knows something. She knows something, y'all. She knows something. And Destiny does not want her to reveal it. We already know what it is. The man thought that this baby was uh, Moses. Moses's. (laughs) He thought the baby belonged to Moses. He felt like um, Destiny cheated on him with Moses. It's just that simple. I mean, I'll be surprised if it's anything left of that I would I would be surprised if it's anything different from that I believe that's what it is I believe that's what it is he thought that that baby probably was the man that she was cheating with which was Moses you know like she has said so many times she's messed around with him and knew and has known him for 15 years she was only married to the man for two so it definitely overlapped right it overlapped so yeah um and you know everybody all the destiny haters are begging sunny to go ahead and reveal it because they say they don't have no sympathy for destiny and when she was always trying to throw shade at mail and be dirty toward mail taking pictures with the m&m kids while um coleslaw is around and trying to imply like something was going on hanky panky was going on between Mel and her ex-husband when um you know Mel was up at the man's restaurant public public place public restaurant buying food or when she was over there and her kids was there um yeah, she was just trying to imply like something went on. But thank God for just, I was about to say for Justin. Thank God for Dustin for actually asking a question and getting clarity on what she meant by that. And it turns out it wasn't even nothing um, sneaky or underhanded. So, yeah, Destiny, don't nobody have any um, sympathy for her. They just don't because she is shady. She's just shady. And, um... Seems like Sunny got her numbers. Sunny definitely has her numbers because Destiny is definitely walking everything back. She ain't saying nothing. She, she, like I said, she did not mention like, oh yeah, I can have them. I can have them anytime. She ain't say none of that. None of that. Because she figured if she said that again, then Sonny was going to get mad all over again and was going to reveal whatever it is that she knows. So you guys drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think about that mess. And then Miss Melody Cherie, she's had to, as the photo says, she's had to stand on business as it relates to Miss Wanda and um sunny not sunny but stormy's mother miss ugly bad i hate to call that woman ugly forgive me lord because if something happened to her tomorrow i'm gonna be upset i won't because i didn't sit up here and said something negative about her but i promise you even when she first came on the show i told y'all she has a face that looks like you can grab from the bottom those type of masks that look like real faces that you can grab from the bottom 
from the top of your neck and just pull them off. She, that's the way her face look. Oh my goodness. She is something, but, um, yeah. Um, Mel has gone live a few days ago and was standing on business um, as it relates to Miss Wanda constantly talking mess, constantly having her name in her mouth, male's name in her mouth, talking on her kids, speaking on stuff that she don't have not that she ain't got nothing to do with. She don't know no truth zone, don't know the facts, just running her mouth, yada yada yada, talking out of the side of her neck. Um, you know, just being negative for no reason. I mean, like Mel said, I mean, her and her daughter, Letitia and Marceau are pretty decent at the moment. And, um, she's still talking mess, like as if they were, you know, beefed out like they used to be. And they're, you know, they said that they was going to try to do better and they've been trying to do better. It's not perfect. It'll probably never be perfect with them anymore, but yeah and she's still talking mess still got the woman name in her mouth still saying negative stuff still spewing out lies still calling her b's and h-o-e's and talking about her kids and you know all this stuff so um mel said she was gonna take it to um the courts she was gonna i guess file some type of charges possibly for defamation um, she did not actually say that I know of. Um, I didn't catch all of the live. If you guys heard that she said different, you know, that it was for defamation, defamation, or if she said, um, specifically what else, what else, um, the charges were going to be for or about drop down in the comments. But yeah, she did. She said that she was going to let her lawyers take a looky loo at, um, this whole situation um with with miss wanda so she basically told her to get her money up get her weight up <laughs> you know hope she got money to play um with them lawyers and them retainers because it's up it's all the way up from here because she's tired she's tired of wanda using her as her topic of her lives it's like dang what you know she ain't haven't had any issues like i said with leticia so why are you constantly you're not even on the show and um it was also said that um i don't know i don't know if it's producers stagehands people um hangers on passer buyers people i don't know people have been telling miss wanda that if she talk about mail she'll get airtime So when she goes to like the little events, I guess, and she's there as an extra, you know, but of course they're not putting the camera on her because she's not on the show, but they're telling her if she's, you know, talking mess about Mel, then she'll get some camera time. And, you know, somebody lied to her because she ain't got no camera time this season, not thus far anyway. But, um, yeah, you guys drop down the comments and tell me what you think about Mel um taking legal action allegedly i mean that's what it she seemed like she was implying that she was taking legal action against wanda and like i said the only thing i could see legally is maybe defamation i guess unless there's some other things that she's done to her that she hasn't revealed not sure jury is still out on that and we will hear more from that or about that um but yeah you guys drop down in the comments all this stuff is going on it is so so much to keep up with and have a life it is a lot um yeah there was a lot it was a lot it's a lot it's a lot going on um in a way i kind of do want sunny (laughs) i kind of do want sunny to reveal what what time it is because that's the only way we're going to find out. Because Destiny can't talk about it. She had to sign an NDA. She'll never be able to say it. So the only way we're going to find out is through someone else. I mean, Sunny ain't got to say all of it. <laughs> and because, you know, when the uh, Destiny was on that... Um, when she was on that show... Um, 
the podcast, she told the woman that, you know, whatever Sonny had to say or wanted to say could not embarrass her. It would not embarrass her. Could not embarrass her. So if it won't embarrass you, then, then you know, Sonny, by all means, tell us. <laughs> tell us. She said she, not, she won't be embarrassed by it or whatever. So, I mean, to me, that seems like that's, that's a green light. I mean... And she she said some negative things about Sonny, which may be deserving, maybe not. I mean, depending on who you are and what what side of the fence you're on. But um, yeah, I really want to know, because like I said, it couldn't. I don't know what it could be, but it seems very clear that it may be that her ex husband thought that she cheated on him with Moses, and maybe thought that their child that they had together might have been Moses prior to him getting a paternity test. I mean, you know, some old Jerry Springer stuff. You know, who is the father? Who really is the daddy? I mean, girl, anyway, that's that ain't nothing. And which is why she probably, you know, it's which is why she probably said that she can't and won't be embarrassed because it's it's really nothing. It's just that you fumble your own bag. I mean, she may have loved the man, I don't know. But you you messed up your whole situation messing around with Moses. I mean he's he's cute, but he ain't that cute for I'm you know if I'm mess up my whole situation and she had a cushy a cushy life. She had what a, five, a four bedroom house, two car garage, husband that made over well over a hundred thousand. It's probably two three hundred thousand a year, give or take whatever. I don't know specifically. He was handsome. He had nice hair. <laughs> you know, all the women love men with curly hair. Uh, what else? You know, she she claimed that she worked for some company. I think she said Wyndham. That's what she told uh, Dr. Heavenly that made so much money. She made so much good money. That's what she told Dr. Heavenly. Um, I want to say Wyndham was some type of travel agency company. I could be wrong. I don't know. But, um, yeah, she worked for that company and made so much good money to the point where, you know, she was able to, I guess, leave that company when she got married because she had the financial stability and backing to stop work, stop a nine to five and go work for herself, which is how I guess she ended up opening up Madani and, you know, trying to be an entrepreneur because she had the financial backing and support from being married to LaBeric. So girl, you fumbled your bag. <laughs> you just messed your bag up. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, you, you, you got to take that L and she, she's been taking them L's, you know what I mean? And still working her way, trying to get back to um being stable so yeah you guys drop down in the comments i didn't want to make this video too long let me know what you think like the video subscribe and until next time thanks for watching bye